tell y'all i tricked the hell out of my grandsons for april fool's day didn't i i got y'all right yes i did they they tried to get me afterwards by um you know they was at the house and um they did try to get me afterwards but i got them real good so let me tell y'all when I picked them up from school on Friday so we could take Nevea to the doctor, you know, Tati was with me. And um, I started talking about how I had just got off the phone buying some tickets, buying some tickets for Walt Disney World. And um, then I had let them know they was all happy and excited. What's up, JJ? You know, they was excited. They was happy. You know, I described the whole trip for them. You know, how many bedrooms, because we was going to rent a house. We was going to drive there, because it's like, it's not far as a Cali. You know, and, um, you know, I just was like, they got them so excited. Super duper excited, okay? Then, like, kind of like 10 minutes later, you know, they still was talking about it, still was asking questions. And I made it seem like it was really real. I was thinking, I was like, you know, you, you know, JJ, Tinky, and Julian, y'all will be in one room. Your mom and dad and Jalen, they'll be in a room. Mumsy and Nay, they'll share a room. And me and Potato Princess and Tati will share a room, you know, so because it was four bedrooms and it had a pool and a grill. Like, you know, I made it sound like it was, I made it sound like it was the trip that me and my kids and that guy that used to live with me took to Walt Disney World like 18, 16 years ago. So, you know, I just went off that. You know, after like the excitement had wore down because they were still conversing about it, that's when I was like, oh yeah, you guys, April Fools. So they was like sad about it. They was, they told me I wasn't cool no more. Wasn't y'all telling me I wasn't cool no more? Yeah, y'all was. I'm not cool no more? JJ, you gonna let him say that? <laughs> Bitch, me folded. What? Never that, boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap, boy. No. If I went in some neck, baby. Yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H. Man, this be the five. MP in the cut. What? Yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but connect some could, baby, some hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be. Uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Nice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And hey, don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Hey, I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. So I'm not cool no more. Um, but they did try to get me back because I was out in the backyard sitting and Tati was like, you need to come here because the boys did something. So she was just too calm about it. Then I seemed like, I just looked in her face like, okay, if the boys really did something, I would have heard you saying something to them. And I'm like, okay. So I go in the room and they're sitting there like with their faces covered and the TV, I look at the TV, the TV is like messed up. The screen is cracked or whatever. I was like, so y'all use that app on the TV to make it look like it was broke. Try harder. Yeah, yeah, y'all. They try to get me with the TV pal and the, the yeah, screens. Yeah, well, it didn't work. It didn't work. I was like, just try harder. I should have acted surprised. No, that was my first 
I'm trying, but I am going to plan a trip. Okay. I am going to plan a trip for everybody to go on, you know, all my grandkids and kids, a family trip somewhere where everybody can go, including my dog. Hopefully we can do that within a year. You know what I mean? I would like to do that within the year. I'm about to drop them off and I'm going to take my butt to the gym for a little while. Done. Y'all see the sweat. Y'all see the glue form. It's time to go get my brew, cold brew iced coffee. <sighs> go home, freshen up. Okay, freshen up and edit a video for a little bit and then go get potato. Where the hell I park my car at? <clears throat> okay. Go get potato. <sighs> Girl, that was enough for the day. I was sweating the entire time I was there. Watched the entire show of Walking Dead plus an extra 15 minutes. So an hour and 15 minutes. You don't need to be there all damn day. I mean, you can if you want to. But um, that was enough for me. My mouth is dry. Okay. My mouth is dry now. And I'm out of breath. And at this point, I'm just going to go home. I didn't drink enough water. Whoo, child. Got my tissue because... I ain't got no little sweat rag, so I tuck my tissue right here, honey. I'm just trying to get my neck back, for real. I'm just trying to get my neck back. It is hot. Keep running in and out of my life, okay? Time to cool down. Oh, yes. That was a good workout, you guys. That was definitely a good workout. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do like abdominal workouts because I really need some of this fupa to go. Like it don't have to all go, but just can I get like half of it gone? You know, give me like a BOGO workout, get half off of your body. Like just give me like a BOGO. I need like a serious BOGO. You know what I'm saying? WOGO, work out, get out. I don't know. Just I just need a BOGO. You know what I'm saying? If I work out really hard, let me just get like half off, half off the body. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even really want half off the whole entire body because I like the rest of me. I just need half off the fupa. Like I'll take half. If I can't get 100%, let me at least get 50. I'll even take 75. Shit, I, I'm willing to negotiate. But I just need the fupa to go. Like, I don't care where it go. It could go wherever. If you need, like, a BBL and you don't got enough body fat, girl, hit me up. I'm not even charging for this. You can have it. You can use it to your discretion. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It could be between you and me. Ain't nobody got to even know. And I'm pretty sure it'll work out for the both of us. You get a big booty and I get, like, a flat stomach. You want to say hi? Yeah. You want to say hi? You want to smile at the camera? Oh, my God. You're so silly. You are so silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're silly. So, Princess has been home with me all week because she's been sick. She has a cold. And I guess it's, you know, they catch it from daycare. So I brought her to the doctors. You so silly. You like what you see? Are you watching the TV or are you watching the video? I think she's watching the TV because she loves this show, Chip and Potato. So I think she's watching that. She just has a regular cold, but I just felt bad because she just keep coughing, you know, she's warm one minute. She just seems um, very uncomfortable, but she's being a really good sport about it. She doesn't, um, she doesn't complain. And right now, like I said, she's sitting here, we sitting here watching TV, we watching Chip and Potato. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't really get any TV time, you guys, anymore to myself, especially when she's home. Because um, she took over. Then you take over. You want to say hi? Then you take over. Hmm? Yeah, you took over. Say, I took over. I did. I did. I took over. Ah. Yeah. Tell them. We're just home today, you know, just chilling. I do have some video editing that I need to get done, which is like basically vlogs. See what I'm saying about her coughing? Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. 
bless you. She had on a cute little outfit today. Tell me you had on a headband and everything, right? She is busy, definitely watching TV. You, you tell everyone hello? Tell them how big you get. I sit back and I think about the day that I just like had like that, like that horrible breakdown in the car when I was asked to take custody of her and I just felt so overwhelmed. And like, don't get me wrong, sometimes I do still feel a little bit overwhelmed, but I really feel like, what, what? I, I didn't mean no harm by that. No, yeah. <laughs> you telling everybody you smiling at your mama. Yeah, I didn't mean no harm by what I said. I'm just being honest. Mm-hmm. I'm just being honest. Yeah. I love you too. Yeah. You know, I, I was really, really overwhelmed. And, and there are times when I still do get overwhelmed. But I think, like, I have gotten into the swing of things yeah, hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's up? What? What's up? <laughs> she always smiling at me. She stays smiling at me. What's up? Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello, potato. Hello. Hello, potato. Yeah, hi. I, you know, I sat back the other day and I said to myself, I just sat back and I thought about how um, I had like that really bad breakdown in the car. And it's not that I was disappointed in myself, but I just really didn't think that I could do it. So I think that's the part that made me feel disappointed in myself because here I am and I think I'm doing a damn good job. I'm not perfect at all, but I think I'm doing like a really, really good job. Um, and... I should never doubt myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, we should never doubt ourselves. If we feel like we can do something, then do it. If we feel like we can't do something, then just still try. You know, and that's just, that's that's the mindset that I put myself in. And I'm, I'm really, really glad that um, I had the opportunity to be able to raise my grandkids. Because I would never want them to be anywhere else but with me if they weren't with their natural parents. So I'm glad that I took on the responsibility. I am now licensed. I got my license for being a foster parent. So that that was it was really, really helpful. That was a help for me. When daycare came about when she was six weeks old, I was so excited for her to go because, you know, like I said, I was very overwhelmed in the beginning. And I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I can't be around no baby all day long. I can't do this. This is too much for me. But she's been here with me all week. And there are days, we call them skip days. She don't go five days a week, even though she can, she's supposed to. But I will keep her home like maybe like once or twice. Bless you out the week. And bless you. She also has half days because my grandson gets out. Her, her brother gets out at 12 on Wednesdays. So I go get her. So she don't even stay there like all day. So I think I do really well with her. She got her, her swing that she sits in. She loves the swing. So I'm so thankful for that from um, one of my divas for purchasing her a swing for her baby shower because she loves it. Like when I tell you she loves the swing, she loves it. She sits in there and watches her TV show. Yes, Princess Potato, Potato Princess loves TV. She likes TV. And the swing is nice and comfy for her, a nice big seat. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting through this. It is what it is. But, you know, it's, there's other things that I'm disappointed in myself. Like, look at my face. Like, my face has swollen up again. I have gained all the weight that I have lost from my fasting, I have gained it back. And I, I was doing so good with my fasting. Like I lost about 16 pounds. And um, I know a lot of it has to do with be because I, um, I was just going through a lot, you know, over the past couple of months with my daughter, I was going through a whole lot. And so I think I kind of like fell off a lot from doing my fast, but I started it back. So I'm proud of myself for that. And I'm, I'm just, I'm going to stop kicking myself in the back, in the backside all the time because I get disappointed with myself a lot because I don't want to gain the weight. And I have to realize I'm only human. You know, I am a human being. It is what it is. And not really, it is what it is, but I got to cut myself a little bit of slack. You know, I just got off of, uh, bless you. 
I just got off the phone, a virtual visit with my therapist, and she's amazing. She has said to me that she's seen like a change in me. And like, I really try to stick with the positive. And like, I'm, I, I've never been like a really negative person in negative person. But I mean, like who can, everybody could be negative. Like everybody can be negative at a time in their life. But, you know, I just try to avoid it as much as possible. You know, um, people going to see me for who I am and that's what it is. If you don't like me for what I look like or what I wear, then you just don't like me. And I'm going to have to deal with that. Not even deal with that, but just be okay with it, you know? And I'm happy. Like, I, I enjoy my life. I enjoy my single life. Girl, let me tell y'all, it's like the best thing since sliced bread. And I'm not saying that because I don't have a man. It's because this is who I am right now. And this is, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Bless you. I'm very comfortable with it. And, you know, you got to learn to love yourself, too. Yes, yes, yes. You got to learn to love yourself, too. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I don't need any negative, toxic relationship with nobody. And you, you understand what I'm saying? You, do you understand what I'm saying? Because we don't have a toxic relationship, do we? You and I have a good relationship, don't we? Huh. But she is getting so big. Um, She is now... What do you do? Tell them what you do. She likes to, I'll stand her up and she'll like bounce on her legs at three months. What do you, what do y'all really do at three months? What do y'all really do? <laughs> what do y'all do? Like she can't sit up yet. Of course. I don't even remember when they get to sit up because I'm excited to use your high chair. I want to put you in a high chair and feed you some food. Yeah. Don't you want to eat? Yeah, you do. Right. You do. She does grab. Like, she does grab. She reaches out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Am I funny looking to you? Because you always be laughing at me. Do you think I'm funny looking? I think she thinks I'm funny looking. Huh? Am I funny looking? Yeah. I am, huh? Oh. Ah. <laughs> I guess I'm funny looking, Okay. Yeah, but we wanted to come through and say what's up to you guys real quick. What are we going to do tomorrow? We're going to go to the farmer's market. Me and Tinky, you want to come along? You do. I guess that guys, means yeah. What's up? Good morning. Hope you guys are having like a really great day. On my way to the gym, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is freezing out, okay? Like, yesterday it was not 100. Say before that it was like 100. Then you get up today, it's like, oh my God, it's fucking cold outside. Like, seriously. I mean, it's not that cold. It's 57 degrees. Some of y'all would be like, oh, that's some nice weather. But 57 here in Arizona is totally 57. Let me take my ass in here to this gym. I done took my blue juice. I done drank that. I'm going to do what I need to do. And I hope. You know what? It's not that I don't want to be bothered today, but I, I I just really don't want to be bothered with the nonsense. I hope I always say this, but I hope nobody ain't in the gym like, oh, you ain't been here in a couple of days because I was here yesterday, but I ain't seen you in a couple of days. You ain't been here. I, I'm one day I'm gonna be like, duh, no duh. Don't you think I know that? Well, I'm glad I'll be like, well, glad you noticed because I have things to do. And coming to the gym and spending four or five hours a day is not one of them. See, I have a life to live outside the gym. How about you? And then just walk off. That's gonna be because I get tired of hearing that. Oh, I ain't seen you here in a minute. I ain't seen you here. How about I just look at you and be like, oh, you haven't? Oh, well, where have you been? And then just walk off. So, of course, I made it back from the gym. It was a couple of hours ago. You know, I got my beverage of the day and stuff like that. Now it is 12.33 in the afternoon. It's half days for the boys at elementary, okay? So, I don't know if all the schools do that out here, but Garden Lakes does every Wednesday. Excuse me for a second. There we go. So, it's a half a day every Wednesday, which is great. They get out at 12.40. Me and Panty Pancake is going to pick them up. Then I'm going to drop JJ off home. Then I'm going to Chiba Hut. Chiba Hut, honey. Chiba Hut. Where I'm going to get me two salads. Um, White Widow. I'm, or is it Black Widow? 
It's a white widow. It's either one. It's 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 a widow something. Bitch's dad, widow. But um, yes, I'm about to go there and get me two salads, one for today, one for tomorrow. Um, so I don't have to drive back over there, you know, gas prices. But it also takes me like 20 minutes to drive there. And I'm not about to keep coming here every day, wasting my time on gas. It's just never wasting time. But it's, it's, it's not a waste of gas neither. But it's, I just bought two. You want to say hi? Say hi. Okay, we didn't know something. Okay. So, she ain't got to say nothing. She ain't got nothing to say. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive my behind over there and get me two good salads. Um, because, girl, they, them salads is like in heaven. And remember how I was saying I love Papa Murphy's salads? Because I really did. Did, as in past tense. Um, but once you start eating another salad from somewhere else and it's really, really good, then I went back to try, you know, get me some Papa Murphy's because it is right down the street from me. But it didn't taste good anymore to me. Like, it doesn't taste nasty, but it just didn't taste the same. So, yeah. I'm just going to drive my behind to Chiba Hut. That's where I'm going to go. Chiba Hut salad. Oh my God, they are so good. They put the bacon and chicken on the in these so that way it doesn't sog up your salad. And they put some type of dressing that they make it with. It smells so good. And then this is the salad. I got two of them, so like I said, and this is the salad, you guys. Nice Tupperware comes in, it's so good, yes. And I wait till it's time to eat, honey. I am going to tear that salad up. Look, and when I walked in, right? When I walk in, the one guy that works there, he's he's always there. I think he's like the manager or whatever. But he always be like, Oh, I wonder why you here. Here go April. White widow salad. So and like I I guess I'm an all the time customer. You know what I'm saying? He give me like the shout out and stuff. They so nice. They, oh look, it's the pair. They so nice. They, is that? Yeah. 
I don't know. We don't do the vibe thing. But um, they're so nice there. They are so chill. The vibes is so cool at Chiba Hut. Like, for real. So cool at Chiba Hut. Um, real cool, chill vibe. Like, straight up, I love Chiba Hut. We have them, like, throughout the country. I don't know, like, like how far. But if you look up Chiba Hut, you'll see it. But they, they have, like, the bombest sandwiches and salads. I'm going to go get um, potato right now after I get off the freeway. And then I'm going to go home again. Then chill. Mickey D's. Tinky's favorite. That's what we call it. McDonald's. McDonald's. We got to listen up for our number. 118. Mm-hmm. 118. Oh, that was quick. Thank quick. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. I know, right? We just look. We had just sat down, and it was done. That was quick, right? I like when it was quick. It was just not. Yeah. We finally on our way home. We got princess finally on our way home. Cool, child. Let me tell you, we have been out all day. Me and Tinky have been running errands all day long. Running errands, right? And never went back home. Dropped, left and never went back. It does not seem like we've been gone like six hours. It's been six hours since we've been gone, and it doesn't even feel like it. Like it really doesn't feel like we've been gone six hours. But we have, and I know my dog Pancake is wondering where the heck I'm at. I'm hungry, but it ain't my time to eat. You know, it, it definitely ain't my time to eat. You know, I'm doing a fast. I did buy two Chiba Hut salads, one for today and one for tomorrow. And then after I bought that, I went up there and bought two Chiba Hut sandwiches because I have wanted one. But now it's like, I don't really want it. I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm going to be kind to myself and not eat that because Sunday is when I'm going to be like beast mode, beast, beast, beast mode. Okay. So I'm going to give my son my sandwich for his work. All right, you guys. So I'm back out again. It is 5.49. <clears throat> Took off my lashes. All right. Had me a little uh, margarita. I just cracked it open and put me in like a Red Bull with it and stuff. And ate half of a Chiba Hut sandwich and gave the other half to Mumsy. Now I'm on my way to my son's um, place. So I could bring him to work. Um, I bring him to work, but I don't bring I don't bring him home. I just bring him to work until they get a second car. We got to get the other car fixed. Something is wrong with the lights, so they can't really drive it at night. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Me and Panty Pan, and then I'm gonna just come home and just chill and relax. Okay, because that's what I'm that's what I'm supposed to do. And then get ready for tomorrow, Saturday, so I can go in the backyard and clean up a little bit. But that that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I was I was at home, I was relaxing for a couple of hours, you know, Tati came and the girls are there, the kids, so here I go. Focus, I just need to focus on